Hi guys, uh, this is Vishal here from Trackcode. So in this video, we will understand how to disable uh, buttons or links uh, like so that people uh, don't do double click, triple click. So it happens a lot of time when you are making some call or you are doing something and people just keep hitting the button. So the action get executed several times. So let's see how to disable it. So in case of form submit, the buttons automatically get disabled as soon as you submit the form. So let's say this is a form. If I go and submit it, get disabled so you cannot click it by default but apart from form there are regular buttons reset button there are links which people can click as many times as they want and it just impacts something so let's say let's say this is an example so here there is i'm just uh, showing an alert message on this button but if i continue to click the alert message appears keeps coming several times right and let's say if i'm calling some api if i'm updating some account if I am sending some notification, it happens that people receive it several times. So we want to disable it. So let's see how this can be done. So very straightforward. So I go to my project. So I go to this button in which this event is binded or the link. And what I do, I'll just click this prevent double click. So I just check the checkbox. And here I can say for what duration we want to disable that action. So by default, it's five seconds. Let's say let's make it three seconds. Okay, and I'll just save it and I publish my changes. So now what we have done, we, have, we are saying whenever someone clicks this link, disable it for three seconds before they can click it again. Reload the page. Now if I click this, now it is disabled, right? It will get enabled after three seconds. Okay, now it is enabled. I click it again, it is disabled. Now let's change it to some other time. So instead of three let's make it six seconds it will depend on your use case like for how many seconds you want to disable it but like four or five seconds is good enough so that whatever you want to execute it's you want to send an email you want to send a notification to slack you want to call some api or you want to run some computation that happens within that four or five seconds and after the, that the button gets disabled or enabled on the basis of the requirement right so now this is six seconds. So if I click one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now it is enabled again. So this way we are able to control that people should not double click this button by mistake. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again in the next video. Bye bye.